Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here. This is part one. I'm going to do a four part video series on how to do deals in five minutes or less. So this first video, I'm going to show you how to find a deal in five minutes or less. The next one, I'm going to show you how to comp a property in five minutes or less, houses and land. And I'm going to do a five minute video on how to make offers in five minutes and then how to find buyers in five minutes or less. So if you're new to this business and you're wanting to learn, you know, how do I keep this simple? I, that's all I'm, I'm about, right? Keeping it simple, stupid. This is the KISS method of wholesaling. And I'm gonna talk about how to do this lightning fast. Now, obviously, if you can do this in five minutes, you know, you'll do better if you spend more time doing it. And it takes practice to get to where I'm at maybe. But if you're new to the business, you're in the right place. And I wanna encourage you to subscribe to my channel because every week I go live in this channel and you wanna be notified when I do because we actually look at real deals. We'll call sellers, we'll call buyers, we'll call realtors, and we'll make offers on real deals that we're working on or my clients are working on. And so subscribe to this channel right now. Uh, some of the things I'm gonna be sharing with you here, you can get a lot more information for free on the stuff that I'm doing. And two different places, I'm gonna give you two links real quick. Uh, simplelandkit.com. You can get the checklist and the calculators and the software and the scripts and the the contracts and all of that at simplelandkit.com on how I flip vacant land. And then I also have a class if you go to simplelandclass.com and the links for all of this are in the description below. But I dive into a little bit more detail there on um, how I use the stuff that's in the Simple Land Kit. All right, it's all yours completely free. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you, we'll start the timer here in just a minute. I'm gonna show you about two or three different ways you can find deals in five minutes or less. You ready to go? All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with houses. And one of my favorite places to go is Zillow. Remember earlier on another video, we talked about how do you find the best places to find the deals. 63136 in St. Louis County is a great place to go because there's a lot of investor activity. This is one of the hottest zip codes where most investors are buying properties right now. So I'm just going to go look at this one particular zip code. And I like to go look here at the rentals. All right, I'm going to click apply. And I just want houses and townhomes, all right? Click apply, there are 123 rental properties right now just in this zip code. And what I like to do is a couple things. Number one, I like to go through each one of these and call the landlords or the property managers and ask them if they would consider selling their property. And this one is listed by a property management company. I love property management companies because they probably have a client, if this client doesn't want to sell this property, they probably have other clients with a property that they want to sell. And I tell this management company, number one, if you can bring me a guy who wants to sell their property, I'll make sure you get both sides of the commission. And when I buy it, I'll make sure if I'm going to rent it out that you can stay as the property management company on that property. So there's a phone number right there. Just go through these. Here's another um, property listed for rent. There's another leasing company. And I say, if this one isn't available, do you have any other properties, any other clients that might have a property available? One of the other things that we do here is we look at this address here and we want to go see who owns a property. A lot of times you'll find rentals, you know, 25, 30% in some areas that are not listed yet as absentee owners. In other words, the address of the property is the same as the address of the owner. And so it's not listed yet as an absentee owner, which means that investor who owns that property doesn't live there anymore and they're not getting any marketing. They're not getting any cold calling or any letters. And so especially in some of the nicer zip codes where they're the more expensive properties, not the rentals like this, you'll see people that used to live in the house, they moved out, now they're just renting it. And those are great candidates, especially for lease options. Now, another thing too is when I'm calling these um, landlords, these are properties that are all nice. Sometimes I'll ask them, hey, would you be interested in, in maybe leasing it to me for a little while and then selling it? Because I can offer to rent their properties, give them the same cash flow that they normally get, but as a lease option, or I could take over their mortgage or something, some kind of creative strategy like that. So I might ask them, do you want a cash offer or can I give you a creative financing offer, right? So that's one way with houses right there, just going through and calling all the landlords, all the property managers, and I keep track of the phone numbers, and so I'm not calling the same number multiple times. Still on houses here, another place I'd like to go to is homes.com, and I'm looking in that one zip code again right here. And instead of looking at rentals, I'm gonna look at properties that have been on the MLS for a long time. So I'm gonna go to all filters here, make sure we're looking at just houses, maybe condos if that's in an area that you want condos in. 
I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna say days on market more than let's just say three months. And in this hot market that we're in right now, any property that hasn't sold yet and has been on the market three months, there must be something going on there. So what I like to do then is just go through these properties. I'm gonna sort it by newest. And I'm gonna look for the properties like this that probably need some updating. You know, the pictures were taken with an iPhone. There's some things still in the house. There's some updating. Maybe there's no interior photos. This is, uh, these are properties that only an investor would want to buy. This one looks rehabbed recently, but I'm looking for properties like this where you can see it's kind of just odd. And this is something that probably an investor would want to buy like this one here, or like this one, actually, there's no interior photos. So this one needs a lot of work. I'm looking for properties that have been on the market for over three or six months that need a lot of updating. And then when I click on these properties like this, guess what? I have the listing agent's name, phone number, and email, and I'm gonna reach out to them and contact them, all right? On another website, by the way, affordablehousing.com. This is a great place to contact landlords of lower end, cheaper Section 8 rentals. And if you just go into, uh, look into one of your markets, look how many hundreds of properties there are here listed for rent. And when you open up one of them, normally you're going to get the name and phone number of the actual owner of that property. A lot of property management companies don't do Section 8s. So many times you'll find the landlord right here. And so I'm gonna call them and ask them, hey, I see this rental property that you have. You wouldn't be interested in selling it, would you? Or do you have any other properties that you might be interested in selling? This is a great source of leads and there's hundreds of properties that are listed for rent on Zillow, uh, affordablehousing.com. You can go to homes.com, look for older listings. You could look for properties that have been on the market for a long time and that have had their price reduced recently. So let's look at this again. Days on market more than three months, price reduction in the last 30 days. Here are seven properties that have had price reductions that haven't sold yet. You should be calling every single one of these and just making offers, all right? Let's look at vacant land. How do I find uh, good vacant lots that are available that I can make offers on in five minutes or less? Well, first thing I like to do is go to homes.com and let's just pick a county. Let's pick uh, Lee County, Florida. We're not doing any deals here now, but this is a great market. Lots of properties listed for sale here. And I'm gonna go to home type land, boom. And I wanna go show me all the vacant lots that have been on the market for over six months that have not sold yet. Guess what? There are 3,000 vacant lots, 3,031 vacant lots that have been on the market over six months. So I bet you there's at least one seller there who is motivated who's tired of waiting and just wants to sell it and doesn't care, right? So you can sort this from newest. If you want to, you can say, all right, only show me the cheapest ones that are maybe under a hundred grand. There are 2,091. If you just click on them, guess what you're gonna find? You're gonna find the name, phone number, and email of the realtor that you can call and ask them. When I call realtors, I ask them a couple things. Number one, yeah, is, is the seller negotiable on their price? And by the way, would you, could you represent me and get both sides of the commission? You can get commissions from the seller's agent, as a seller's agent and as the buyer's agent, and get both sides of the commission. And oh, by the way, if you have any other off-market properties, I pay 10% commissions if you can bring me an off-market vacant land deal. So that's one of my favorite ways to find vacant land deals without spending any money on marketing real quickly. Uh, in five minutes or less, just go to homes.com, look for properties that have had a price reduction or been on the market a long time. If I go back here to this page, go back to all filters, I'd say, all right, show me all the properties that have been on the market, um, any of them, let's just do any of them, with a price reduction in the last seven days. And there are, boom, right there, 112 vacant lots under 100 grand that have had a price reduction in the last week. Go through them and start calling the agents. All right, there's one more thing I like to do. If we're in Lee County, let's go back to Zillow here. Let's look at Lee County, Florida. This is a great source of leads right here. And I'm actually gonna remove boundary because I want all of them. And I'm gonna go here to for sale, click apply. And I want land only. So I'm gonna click lots and land only. And I'm gonna go here to more and I'm gonna go by owner right there. So these are owner for sale by owner properties. And I typically like to see only 
owner posted, right? And so there are 101 vacant lots right now listed for sale by owner, and I could just zoom out to get even more. There's 125, let's zoom out again. There's 187, let's zoom out again. In this screenshot of Alabama, Georgia, Florida, whatever, 402 vacant lots listed for sale by owner. If you just called five of those a day, call them and say, hey, I see that you've got your property here. I don't know if I can get you 75 grand for it, but would you consider maybe seller financing? You get it under seller financing contract, you could sell that contract to somebody else, make a quick three to four or five grand on it. So there's a lot of opportunity here for sale by owners. You could also then sort this right here by newest, and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you could go to page five or six or seven to get some of the older vacant land listings. Some of these have been on for you know, over two or three months. They have a price reduction recently. So I would start with calling the older listings uh, for sale by owners and just make offers. So that's it. That's how you can find deals in under five minutes. It's all free right there on the interwebs going to Zillow, homes.com, affordablehousing.com, and just look for deals. Look for older listings, look for landlords, look for for sale by owners, look for price reductions, and they are there for the taking. Now, when you make an offer at 50% of what the list price is, or you know it's just been rehabbed, they're just trying to get a tenant, chances are, right, they're not going to want to sell it to you, but that's not the point necessarily. The point is, is to make a connection, to build your list, of people to follow up with. When you talk to that landlord, that property manager, that realtor, you're asking them, hey, do you have any other properties that might be available, that might be off-market deals that I could buy at a discount? I'll pay you generous referral fees. I'll pay you generous commissions for every deal you bring to me. Now you start building your Rolodex. You say, hey, listen, can I send you my contact information? Now you have somebody you could send an email to every month. You can text every other, like every two weeks. Say, hey, you don't remember me? I'm just following up. Has that property sold yet? Uh, do you have any other off-market properties? I'm looking for deals. Do you have anything? Do you have any clients that might be um, looking to sell one of their properties in their portfolio? Do you have any clients that might be looking to buy a deal? So now you start building up your list, people to follow up with, and every day you're consistently talking to five people or more. You're consistently making offers. You're consistently following up. You're not spending any money on marketing you are going to do deals. It's as simple as that. All right, that's all I got for now, guys. Appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I got more videos like this. I got more videos coming up next where I'm gonna show you how to comp these properties in five minutes how or less, how to make offers, how to find buyers in five minutes or less. I'll see you on the next video.